what is going on guys and welcome back to our next video and I'm very excited because I'm actually at the airport probably a bit of deja vu if you've been watching the channel since when I first left to Lebanon two months ago here again with my dad saying uh, bye to him gonna be uh, heading over to a country so I'm not gonna reveal where I'm going until the very end of this video so stick around and let's do it dad love you love you man be good be careful all right yeah I'll see you later Hurry back be safe all right maybe I am gonna tell you guys where I'm going so I went to check in and I was like she's like where are you going what city I was like Erbil she's like oh where and then so I was like Erbil or Iraq. I was like, I'm probably the first person to ever fly from Milwaukee there, or one of the only. She's like, I've never once in the time I've worked here, which it sounded like for many years, had someone flying here. So I thought that was really funny. And so now I have my boarding passes and I'll fill you guys in on the way if there's anything exciting going on. But um, got to stop over in Philly, then Doha, Qatar, and then Erbil. So it's about 2 p.m. now or about 12 p.m. now and then I'll be there at 8 45 p.m. if there's no delays so let's go ahead and do it so this airport is just one of three stops we're gonna be doing it's pretty quiet here as you can see the airport is quite empty and there are not that many flights coming in and out of here I'm pretty like anxiously excited to get there because there's going to be like you know like I'm not an American going there it's just gonna be like a once in a not so common time experience to go there so I'm ready to change perceptions on this place and show you guys it all right guys so just to recap on the story so I got my boarding passes I have one from Milwaukee to Philadelphia Philadelphia to Doha Doha to Erbil and it was funny like the lady said I'm literally like the first person in her entire career to fly from Milwaukee Wisconsin to Erbil Iraq so that, uh, that part I had to laugh, but it's, it's also what I expected. Like on the drive here, I was telling my dad, I was like, I bet I'm gonna be like the first person that's ever flown this route, so. But like basically I wanted to share like my expectations of what I think it's gonna be like, because places are always so much different than I perceive. And you know, that happened in Lebanon, the last place that I was just at where, you know, I had no idea what to expect. I had seen so many things in the media and it ended up being one of my most favorite countries of all time. And I heard, Iraq in general has like some of the most kindest people, the most hospitable people. So it's gonna give Lebanon some competition I hear. I don't really know fully what to expect, but what I did hear is that Erbil is a pretty modern city. Now, one guy who's from there, an Iraqi American told me that it's basically like the Dubai of Iraq. So I was like, that's pretty sweet because that means it's super modern. And they say Kurdistan in general is quite safe. I think I saw a blog post that a tourist hasn't been killed since uh, 2005. So hopefully that stays that way. Yeah, it seems like there's nightlife there. There's a lot of cool markets. We've got a great itinerary. We're gonna be doing so much over the next like couple weeks that I'm over there 10 weeks, 10 days to two weeks. I don't really know how long, maybe longer, we'll see. I am just really excited because it's, you know, a place that's always been kind of a, a destination I would never consider going when I was growing up because, you know, the war and the perceptions and, you know, I, I created this channel to change perceptions of the world, and I have a friend, Yad, who I'm meeting out there, and my buddy Upton as well, but Yad's actually, his, his family, his dad's from Kurdistan, so the cool part is I'm gonna know, he knows Kurdish, so we're gonna go and explore together, which is gonna be great. And so I'm not really too scared about it, like, yeah, obviously going to a new country, one, I have those uh, misconceptions from the past, they sit in the back of my mind, but I'm more excited than anything right now. If anything, I'm just like, making sure that I can get across the border. 70 bucks US cash, and uh, they gave him the visa on arrival and it was quick and easy, so I'm hoping it's gonna be easy, uh, as easy for me, but that's like 24 hours from now, so until then, I'm gonna enjoy a nice Asiago and cheese, sausage, egg and cheese, specifically bagel. It's like my go-to whenever I'm at the Milwaukee airport, or pretty much any airport in the morning, is to get these because it's so good the go-to breakfast food. So definitely uh, stick around for this series. It's probably gonna be like 20 or 30 videos, depending on how long I stay. So it's gonna be really good content. It's gonna be content you've never seen before because not that many people have traveled to this destination. So I'm ready to uh, meet the locals. I'm ready to try the food, go to the markets, check out all of the places that maybe used to be way too dangerous to visit. And now they are an absolute tourist attraction, a cool place, a lot of history. A lot of things going on there so looking forward to uh, showing you uh, all around the country and uh, we'll see you later on once we get over so guys fast forward about six hours later I have just made it on to my second flight which is from Philly to Doha Qatar so that's gonna be probably like a 13 hour flight and then after that I got like a one hour layover and then we'll be heading over to Erbil so Still got quite a ways away, but the good news is, is I can usually sleep on planes. So hopefully can get some uh, shut eye in, get some videos edited, and that'll get us to the flight here quickly. But uh, we're on a pretty big plane here, Qatar plane. 
not a jump, not a double decker, but as you can see, look at that wingspan. It is a big boy. It's got to be able to fit like I don't know, maybe three, four hundred passengers. So it's going to be a full flight today. I can tell for sure. So we'll see once we get over there. All right, we've got another flight done about 13 hours later, and it wasn't too bad actually. A little tired, but it's got about a one hour layover, and then Erbil is going to be the next flight. So smooth ride. Now we're in Qatar. Let's do it. This was probably the easiest gate transfer I've ever had. I got off this gate right back there. Just got to take like 20 steps over here, and we've got the gate for Erbil right here. Looks like we're arriving a little early then. Here's on one for your board. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have Thank a good you. Night. All right, here we go. Heading to Erbil now. I think this last flight's just maybe an hour or two, so not too bad. All right, boarded the last and final flight after a very, very long journey. So finally going to be making it over to Erbil, ready to finally be there. Going to arrive somewhere around like 9 p.m. So we'll see you on the other side. Just made it into the uh, jet bridge of the uh, Erbil airport. You can already tell it's going to be a hot place to be exploring because you can feel the humidity here in the jet bridge. So we'll cruise through and uh, show you once we get there. Possibly. How much is it to go to Ankawa? My friend just took one like 20 minutes ago and it was $17. Small car, yeah. Yeah, small car's fine. Car. Yeah, just one person. Salam alaikum. All right, guys, we have just made it outside of the airport here in Kurdistan. We're heading with a, uh, what's your name? Alo. Alo? Uh, nice to meet you, Alo. Mac. Shukran. Shukran. All right. So it was a pretty easy process to get into um, or to enter through the Erbil airports and get through customs. Basically, as soon as you get off the plane, you go to the customs area and there's a separate counter for the visas. You go up to the visa, they ask you what you do for work. I told them I'm a YouTuber. They, I paid 70 US dollars, stamped it, and then basically walked through. I didn't have any checked baggage. So then I just had to put my carry-on bags through a scanner. They looked at it, they said good to go. Walked outside, grabbed a taxi, agreed on the price, and uh, yeah, it was, it was honestly like a 10 minute process, super simple, and uh, now we're heading over to the hotel. Yad is unfortunately not here because he ran into some troubles, which we'll, uh, we'll share with you later, but he had to, he had to head out a, little, a bit quicker than planned, so yeah, now we're, uh, we're heading over to the hotel. I think it's maybe like 15 minutes away or so. I think Yad told me that, so we're cruising there now. Oh, we got the, uh, the belt. Well, funny enough, I thought, yeah. I thought, I thought the radio just beeped for me to, to like put my seatbelt on, that's what I thought it was. And then I looked down and the, the seatbelts are completely covered, so I guess I don't have the option to uh, wear my seatbelt right now. All right, well that's good to know. So we gotta we got get some Kurdish music on you and you'll dance? Yeah, you dance. Yeah, knows, uh, Alo knows, Alo, Alo does Kurdish dances, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yalla bro. <laughs> So guys, as they say, welcome to Erbil. We are here, it is nice and lit up. The last Middle Eastern place I was at was in Lebanon and there was not this much electricity. So it is a different experience from that perspective. I know we're pretty close to the hotel because I remember seeing on the map, the first thing that popped up was KFC when, uh, when Yad was telling me where to go. And yeah, it's, it's, it seems like there's a lot of stuff going on down here. Erbil Sports Center on this side. Yeah, it looks like everything's lit up. Must be a, a place for night owls out here. Ghazali Street. Oh, I think someone recommended that to me. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be busy checking this place out. I have a feeling I'm gonna enjoy it. So we've got we've got my man up here, Alo. He's uh he's hooking it up with uh, taught me some Kurdish dance moves already, and uh, taking taking me for a little cruise to the city. And the traffic here, I will say, is like. It's so much more chill and calm compared to Lebanon where people are a bit all over the road. Which I enjoy both types, don't get me wrong. But it's definitely different. Well, that answers that question. They definitely sell a lot of alcohol here. They have a huge absolute sign over there. What else do we recognize out here? Oh, uh, there's an Ikea sign. You guys are pretty familiar with Ikea, I'm sure, around the world. Uh, Lavaza, if that's how you even say it. Oh, I thought that was Malik Al Tawuk for a second. I was about to say, no way. <laughs> oh, it's so cool to be here. I love the exhilaration of arriving to a new place, especially a place that's so far outside of my usual comfort zone. Oh, they like their booze here. Another, another massive absolute sign. This place is happening. 
Oh, they've got shawarma there. Oh, yeah. Kebab there. Oh, yeah. This is the place to be. That looks like some delicious food. Min Basham mm -hmm. Spa. Min Basham Spa? Spas? Spas. Min Basham Spa. Eh, eh, eh. Atu. Min Basham Atu Kui. Sida Kei Ati Era. Eh. Atu Lutsa Ati Haulere. Oh, you lost me there. <laughs> I only know um, you... Cha Chani Bashi, Ta Chani, Min Basham Spa Satu. You come, Arvid. Eh, Shu? You come, Arvid. Uh, I don't know. No? I don't know. No, no understands. A little Kurdish, uh, yeah. but a little Arabic. Arabic. Eh, Arabic, Mushkin. Eh, Kifok. No, I don't know how to do it. How do you do it? 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 How do my Arabic's gotten a little bit rusty since I was in Lebanon, although I can only get by with a little bit, but of course the dialect's gonna be different here, so it's gonna be more challenging for me to communicate. All right, we've arrived to the hotel, yeah? Yeah, yeah and money's in the bag. Money, my money? Uh, okay. All right. All right, let me grab it out of here. Get some cash out of there. All right. US dollars good? Yeah. yeah. All right. I got. I got to. I got to practice my Kurdish here. I'm gonna say. Uh, Camera. Zor spas. Zor spas. <laughs> Zor spas. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, what defed is by so you let that. Yeah. Okay. Shukran khaye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, brother. Thanks a lot. Take thank care. You. Hello. Salam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. All right, we have arrived to the hotel. We're at the uh, we're at the Ankawa Hotel. What's your name? We've got uh, Arifo. Yes, Arifo. Oh, perfect. Arifo, nice to meet you. So this is the place, yeah. It smells good in here. Yes, yeah. Hello. How are you? I'm staying up with uh, Yad Sharif. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hello. All right, we had a nice easy check in here. Here's the uh, the space, the layout. We've got our man taking us up, getting us uh, getting us up to the room. All right, sweet. Here we go. I must say, the difference here is uh, in Lebanon there wasn't much power, so you sometimes had to take the stairs as soon as you walked into the elevator. So it's a it's a nice break. You speak uh, English, Arifo? Yes. Yes. Uh, perfect. Perfect. So how long have you worked here? I'm um, here in six years. A year in six years. Yes. Six months. Six years. Uh, six years. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Sweet. It's my first time here in Kurdistan. Welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm learning some words here. One of them is uh, Chani Bashi. Yes, <laughs> like uh, yeah. Hi, hello, how are you? All right, so we've got we've got Yad in one of these rooms right now. Mr. Yad Ventures. This is the one. Is this uh, Mr. Yad Ventures room? Yo, what's up, brother? How you doing, bro? I wanted to get my foot. Yeah, I know, I got one though, bro. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, we made it. This is this is the casa, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sweet, bro. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. Got the double rooms. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. I only got one single on me right now, bro. But uh, that's all I got right now uh, for small change. Need anything else? Uh, right now, I think I'm all right. Thank you very much. So after the excitement, guys, I want to introduce Yad, who you have probably seen in my videos if you if you've been around since the Dubai days. And uh, yeah, Yad and I chilled together for a solid month together. We explored all over Dubai. Probably did like what, like 20, 30 different activities in the town. We you know smoked shisha at one of the best places, season Barak. Became uh, local basically. Yeah. He's no longer the American man. Yeah. Mohammed. Yeah, exactly. So. And now he's in my country. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's originally from your husband back in what, like 17, 17 years. 17 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's been a while. So it's like almost as much of a, a tour as, as it is for me as it is for him. You know. For sure. So he just speaks a little more Kurdish than I do. For sure. Yeah, but you guys heard me earlier. Tried out a couple. Uh, I'm forgetting. No, Chab. How do you say hello? Chabani. 
Chony. 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 Yeah, Chony yeah, yeah. Bashi. Chony Bashi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to practice that. By the end of these, this vlog series in Kurdistan, I'm going to be speaking at least 30 or 40 words. Easy. Hold me to it. Yeah, easy, 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 easy. So I'm going to give you guys the room tour of where we're staying. So we have a two bedroom here. It's got, what is it? Probably like a king size bed almost? Huge. Yeah, a yeah, huge yeah, bedroom. Bed, yeah. Got the TV. In here, we've got the other bedroom. And uh, we've got the bathroom over here. Nice shower, yeah, modern place, you know, with the uh, Kurdish feel to it. We've got a couch, desk to uh, work at if we need to. We've got a balcony looking out to a couple bars. So this must be a party place out here. Seems like there's like a little secret balcony down there too. Got a chair sitting over there, so pretty sweet spot. We might do a cruise around the town tonight too, so. Give you guys the initial first reactions of being here in Erbil, Kurdistani, Iraq. So excited to be here. This is going to be such a fun next 10, 12 days. Who knows how long we'll end up staying. But uh, the current plan is probably to like the 13th of October, maybe the 15th. So stay tuned because we're going to have so much content coming. All right, guys. Well, forget the jet lag because we're not going to let any night go to waste. Yad and I are going to head out and go walk around outside of here, maybe get something to eat and just kind of get an idea of first impressions of this place. We're going to do more of a full first impressions video in probably the next video after this, but this will just kind of go with the uh, hotel crew's initial arrival here and see what's in our neighborhood for the next couple days. 1023. So we're walking down here and it's still pretty lively on a Sunday night here. So. It is nice to see power everywhere. Definitely something I did not see as often in Lebanon. Oh, is that a money exchange? Should I go there to swap some money out? Yeah, see how much Yeah, yeah, yeah. sweet. Yeah, I need to swap some of these US dollars for some dinar. Dinar? Yeah. Dinar? Hello. Hello. Uh, can I do 50, bro? Yeah. yeah. What's the, uh, the rate? 50 dollars. 50 dollars. Change it out Ah, oh, perfect. Thank you very much. All right, so th these are my uh, first dinars. So I just changed out 50 for, I don't even, I honestly don't even know how much, how much is that supposed to be? Like hundred, a couple hundred thousand, something like that. So we're going to see if we can find a SIM card now. All right, didn't take long to find a uh, cell shop. And the nice part, yeah, it's a Sunday and things are still open at 10 p.m. So that makes it easy for us. Johnny, hello. Hello, hi. Hello. Uh, okay, you can speak Matt, English. You can speak yeah, English. perfect. Uh, okay. I need to get a SIM card. Yes. So I'll be sure. here for the next like 10 days or so. Okay, and maybe, so like, you'll use it for internet or for calls? Uh, mainly internet, yeah. So like oh, 20, okay. 30 gigs. Okay. What's the best one? Fasting. It's the best 40, one. 40, yeah. 4G. 4G. Oh, use sweet. it for internet, for perfect, everything perfect. you want. Perfect. And you have 3 gigabyte inside free. So 3 free? Then you can charge it when the three gigabyte finishes. How do I? How do I just? Because how do I put like thirty gigs on? Because I go through like ten gigs a day. What's the okay, now you have three giga for free. When yeah. you finish it, you can recharge it again. You can recharge eighteen thousand uh, yeah. raki dinar yeah. and get one month uh, unlimited internet. Oh, perfect. Okay. Sweet. And yeah. then do I come back here to recharge it? Okay, anytime. Yeah. All right. I don't Bye. have recharge, but I will tell you where to go. Okay. Perfect. Okay? Perfect. You have the phone with you? Yep. How much is the uh, card? 8,000. 8,000, all right. Yeah. So are you from Erbil? No, I'm from Syria, actually. From Syria, nice. Yeah, Damascus? Okay. Aleppo, you know? Aleppo, Aleppo yeah, yeah, that's the northern part. Yeah, 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 yeah nice. I want to visit there, actually. Yeah, I was just in Lebanon, so I met a lot of people from there. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really nice people. Thanks. So, guys, I was able to get a SIM card here right away. Uh, luckily, our manager, what's your name? Adnan. Adnan. Adnan hooked us up. It's you know it's 10:30 p.m. and he's uh, still still hooking us up with SIM cards. So 8,000 Iraqi dinar, which is about five dollars and 48 cents. That gets us three gigs. And then I use so much data though that I'm gonna need to get more. So he's telling me an unlimited bundle for one month will cost about 18,000 uh, Iraqi dinar, which is like twelve dollars. Twelve dollars, yeah. Twelve dollars for unlimited data, which is great. So like when I use my international plan, I can easily spend like way more than that in a month. And it throttles me after twenty two gigs. So it's always better if you can go ahead and get a local SIM card, because in most places you're going to be able to save a lot of money doing that. Adnan's actually gonna take us over to the spot we need to go in order yeah. to get a refill. So you see the supermarket there? 
water yeah. bottle outside. Okay, there, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, go there. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, right. sweet, sweet. We'll, okay. we'll be right back. Okay. I'll, I'll leave that with you now then. Okay. I heard the hospitality is nice and our, our man Adnan was going to walk us over already and get us set up on the unlimited package. So We need yes. that day. Yeah. We need the juice. Guys. We do. We, we need do. The juice. Badly. We're running those hot spots all the time. Got a bunch of videos I got to upload for you guys. So I think this is our guy. Hello. Internet uh, here. was it 15,000? Fastening. Fastening. Yes. Yeah. One, two, two, please. I'm sorry, I have just one. Just one? Okay, we take one right, for we'll, now. You yeah, get one for now. You get one for now. All right, there we go. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, sir. Do you know any other shop in this area selling this shop? Shop for fasting? Yes. Yeah. Sweet. That's Fastlink right there. So it spends about $17 total and we have unlimited data and hopefully that includes hotspot because that's like the main reason I got it is because I have so much video like I was just telling you guys and it's easy once you have the fast link downloaded you can buy one of these cards to refill it pretty much anywhere and then you just like type the code in after you scratch it off and then you're able to refill it so now I have a month's data. So what happened there? We, we got invited for a tea already? No I just said to him you know where I'm from actually Kurt she was like well, what are you doing sit down you have to yeah, take my glasses. Yeah, yeah. Like, his uncle also lives in the UK. Oh, okay, so he's yeah, like, yeah. We're in the UK, so my uncle lives there too. Ah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just a Kurdish thing. So yeah, yeah. If someone offers you to sit down. You have to sit there. Love it, love it. Have a cup of tea with a proper Kurdish tea. Let's do it. Kurdish tea is a big thing. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. Is it the caffeinated stuff? No, it's caffeinated. Oh, so it's going to be getting us going then. Yeah, yeah, the night's young. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I got to get out my dictionary one more time here. No, no, but partly, partly, partly. What is it? Zore Spas. Zore Spas. All right, so we got, we got some tea here. I can sit. Zore Spas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Omar.